My name is Margo Moore, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about collecting and customizing fashion dolls. So doll customization is when you take an already existing fashion doll. Some examples of fashion dolls are Barbie. I personally prefer to use dolls like Mattel's Ever After High and Monster High. The doll on the right is one that I personally customized using the doll on the left, which is a Madeline Hatter doll from the Ever After High line. Uh, you remove the hair and factory paint repaint the face, add new hair, and make your own creation out of it. So in order to customize a doll, you'll need a few basic materials. One, you'll need the doll, of course. In order to repaint the face, you will need watercolor pencils and acrylic paints, and of course, paint brushes. Then you'll need some sort of sealant. Most doll customizers prefer Mr. Super Clear, which when applied to vinyl gives it some texture that lets you draw directly onto the doll with watercolor pencils. And then hair, which you can use a variety of materials. I like using yarn or any sort of wig fiber that might be heat resistant. Some people use natural fibers like alpaca, but that can be a bit expensive. And then fabric glue to secure the hair into the doll's head, and then whatever fabric that you'll use to make the clothing. One of my personal favorite parts of the doll customizing process is body modifications. Body modifications are when you do something a little bit more extreme than just a repaint. For example, you might sculpt something additional onto the doll. In the bottom left hand corner, that is a current project of mine where I'm making a skeleton character. So I removed a lot of the vinyl from the head and then sculpted additional skeletal features. The purple centaur doll is another current project of mine who is eventually going to become a Kelpie from Welsh mythology. I sculpted larger hooves and gills onto the doll. When you finish a repaint, the technical term within the doll painting community is face up. The doll in the bottom right hand corner was created by my partner. That's actually their very first doll and they did an amazing job on it. I was inspired to pick up the hobby by doll artists on both YouTube and Instagram. I included some of my favorites into this slide. Delightful does really amazing work. She's probably my personal favorite. Mozekito, who is the artist on the top right, also does really stellar work and very, very useful tutorials. And then Hextian, who just does beautiful work all around. So when I started purchasing dolls to modify them, I ended up falling in love with a lot of the dolls and just didn't have the heart to customize them. So I started collecting some of my favorite dolls to collect are Monster High, Marvel Rising dolls, which are fantastic, Made to Move Barbies, which have amazing articulation, and my new personal favorite, which are Hair Dorables. They come in a blind box and are super, super cute. Thank you so very much for watching my presentation. I hope you have a wonderful day.